In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take the guesswork out of what you should put on your website. So you know what actually leads to more sales and more signups. How do we do this? Through the magic of A-B testing. And there's some great tools that you can use today that are actually free and don't require any coding knowledge. Let's dive in. Before we get too into the weeds, let's look at a, maybe a 30,000 foot view of what A-B testing actually is and some best practices around it. So the first question is, what, what is it, right? What is A-B testing altogether? It's actually making two versions of a web page and then showing a portion of the website visitors, one version and then the other, and then seeing which performs better. Here's a graphic that maybe makes a little bit more sense. So in this scenario, this would be the same exact web page. There's just one slight variation, right? One has a dark background and the other has a light background. And let's say we have eight visitors to this web page. Users one, three, four, and eight are gonna see this version, and then users two, five, six, and seven have this version that's shown to them. And then after they visit it, we look and see of all of these users, which ones signed up more often. So let's say in this example that users two, six, and seven signed up, but in this example, only one visitor signed up, so visitor eight then we would know that out of these two versions, that this one is actually the winner. So this is going to help you get more leads, more sales, and more signups. Now, this is kind of a dumbed down version of what an A-B test actually is, but kind of gives you a picture idea of what's going on behind the scenes. So what do you really need to make this happen? Well, you just need a variation on your website. So you need your current website and then a variation to either a headline, a color, or maybe the placements of the elements on the page, so the layout. And then you need a goal that you're hoping users take action on. So for a lot of people, the goal is that a user would end up on a thank you page or a checkout cart or uh, whatever it is that you're hoping would be the outcome. So you need to be thinking, what is the final resting place of a user on my website? And, and then that is what you're going to be measuring to see if a different variation on your A-B test is successful. But here's the thing, not all variations or not all A-B tests are equal. There's actually just a few things that you really want to try to see if it makes a difference. And what are those things? They're things like headlines. So the headlines that make up the different sections of your page or button text, right? What do the call to action say? Or even images. There might be some images that maybe resonate more with your specific type of user versus another. These are the kind of things that I have seen actually move the needle for A-B testing. And I've A-B tested a lot of stuff. And I can guarantee you that testing a slightly different variation of red on a button is not going to make a big difference. It's gonna waste your time and it's just not gonna move the needle. But you also have to understand that you only wanna test out one element at a time. So let's say you have an idea and you're like, what if we change the image, change the header, and then change the button text? And you did an A-B test on those changes. And then one ended up getting you way more conversions than the other. Well, what of those things made the difference, right? Was it the header, was it the button, or was it the image? You'll never know. That's something called a multivariate test, and it's not super reliable to know which of the components was actually helping you towards your goal. So keep it to one at a time. Now, doesn't necessarily mean that you can't test more than one, but no, just test the header and see which one does better. And then the next text, keep the header that one, but then text but then test out the button, right? You just keep iterating over and over again until you optimize it as best as it can be optimized. I like to think about A-B testing with the scientific method, right? And I've even got an A-B testing scientific method here, right? So step one is you make a guess about something that will actually help 
people be more likely to end up that goal that we're trying to get them to. And then you test it out, right? You do that A-B test and look at results. See, was it uh, way better than the uh, first version that we have? Was it only slightly better? Was it worse, right? And then we try again. You always wanna be A-B testing something on your website so that you can optimize it as much as possible. Usually you're gonna start getting really good at making that educated guess because you're gonna have some history of knowing like, well, I tried this in the past and it didn't really work, so, but I tried these things and they actually made a big difference. So keep using this scientific method to kind of refine the things that you're testing. But the question is, how do we do this? The good news is there's a free tool that you can use that's actually really simple and it's called VWO. And I have an account and I've had it for a long time. This does all of the heavy lifting for you behind the scenes. Let's go ahead and look at the dashboard and see how to set this up on your website. So here's my dashboard. I've got a test running. But the first thing that you wanna do is actually add some code to your website. Now I know I said you don't have to know any code and you don't, you just need to copy and paste. So if you come over here to the bottom left-hand side and then click on con configurations and then websites and apps. Now you can see I've got a few websites and apps already set up. These are the sites that I like to test. So I'm gonna click on this show it website and it gives you a few options to be able to integrate it. And you could integrate it with WordPress, Drupal, Shopify, Wix, Press the Shop, Joomla, or what we're gonna do is just take the HTML snippet. So I'll go ahead and copy this snippet and then go straight to my show it website. Then on site settings, what we can do is click integrations, and then I've already got it here, but I'll do it again. I'm gonna add custom code and then add code to, add HTML to the head. We want this to be in the head code of our website. And then I just click on it, copy and paste it and save it, and then it's, it's ready to go. And it's gonna do all the magic behind the scenes. So let's set up a test in our VWO dashboard. So I'm gonna come back over here, go to dashboard, go over to create, and then just click that puppy. And then what we're going to test is the homepage CTA button, All right? And then we want to add the URL to the page that we're testing. And it kind of gives you a little bit of a, a visual cue when you've done something correctly. So we see pages, it's got a check mark next to it, but these other steps down here, they've got the exclamation, meaning we haven't set it up completely. So once we've got the page that we're wanting to test all configured, go to variations and you'll first see the control. That's what the web page looks like, exactly how it is, but we wanna add a variation, right? This is the B to our AB testing. So once you've added the variation, go ahead and click launch editor and then VWO does all the work of sending you to that page and getting its editor running so that you can make changes. Now I've already got a test out on this button right up here on the hero section, but what if I wanted to test a little bit down the way and instead of saying create your site, we said start a free trial. So all you have to do is click on the element that you're wanting to change, right? So I've clicked on this button and then I'm gonna click edit the element. And that brings up a ton of different options for you to change. You could change the text, the font style, uh, the different uh, height and width elements, even down to some of the different things that you've got with some of the other CSS, the background color, the dimensions, the border, all that stuff. Now again, most of those things are not worth testing because <laughs> they're just not gonna move the needle. So instead of saying create your site, let's say start with a free trial because my scientific method guess is that create your site, it carries a little bit too much responsibility on the user. Like if I were to say, hey, create your site and I'm not ready to create my site, they might not actually go through to sign up. And so if we say start with a free trial, that has a little bit less weight to it. And so we're gonna test it out and see if that's actually the case. So 
another thing that we want to do, all I'm doing in this test is just tracking the amount that this button gets clicked. There are other things that you could test, like whether or not somebody ends up on a thank you page or whatever. But in this example, I'm just wanting to track the clicks and you can do that from within the VWO editor. So if I just click this, track clicks, and then we're gonna call this the third CTA click. So that way I know exactly what's, what's going on. All right, so all of this should be set up and then there we can see that we've got the clicks being tracked. They've changed it, start with a free trial and then we're gonna click save and continue. Okay, and so then you could see it already added the metric for us. It's that CTA. Now you could come through and add a secondary metric. So we could say, we don't just want people to click on it. We want them to go through and actually set up an account. So here's the show it account creation page. So what I can do is come back to VWO and add a secondary metric. So we say, uh, account create page and we're going by page visit and then let's add where and we want it to match this URL okay so what we're looking for is an increase in the traffic to this URL that will help us to know whether or not this variation or this a B test has been successful or not and then from there we just click start test start campaign and it starts running. So let me go back to a task that I've been running for just a little bit, not very long. And you can kind of see what it looks like when you've been running a test. So you can see there are a, there's a control line and then a variation line. So right here we see that there's actually been quite a few more clicks on the baseline or the control than the variation, right? So here's the line for the baseline. We see that it's only increased, but for the variation, it's, it's only decreased. And then it tells you what the expected conversion rate is of each and then the expected improvement of it. So we can see from the first few hours that this is not looking too good. Now, what I have seen on a lot of A-B testing is that after a couple of weeks, if the variations perform about the same, they'll start to kind of flatten out a little bit. It's not nearly as drastic as that. So here's a test that actually looks uh, quite a bit better when it comes to the different variations. So you can see you've got the, uh, the baseline uh, illustrated with this orange line. You can see it's kind of going up and then down again. And then here's the variation right here, which is just slightly better. And then VWO will do all the guesswork out of what is actually going to help you. Because the question becomes, when do I stop testing, right? When do I know that this has worked or it hasn't worked? Well, you've, you've got a few things to kind of help you understand that. The first is when the test reaches statistical significance. And that sounds like a big phrase, maybe a little bit intimidating, but all it means is that we've got enough data to know with confidence that one version is better than the other. And VWO actually has a statistical significance calculator that you can put in to see how confident you can be on, on your test. So this is an example. Let's say we had 2,000 visitors to our test. So 1,000 visitors visited control group and the 1,000 visitors visited the variation, 2,000 in total. And then out of those 2,000 videos, 100 visitors actually converted on the control group and 150 visitors converted on the variation. And so then it lets you know, yeah, that's statistically significant. You can be fairly confident that this variation is actually better performing. Now, if this number between the two, as far as the total number of conversions gets smaller, then the statistical significance gets lower and lower. So you can be less confident about whether or not one version is better than another. The only way to help 
if the conversions are much more similar is for the traffic to increase, right? To where you have a lot more visitors to that same page. And sometimes that's impractical, especially when you think about, you only wanna run tests for about two weeks. And why is that? Well, eventually, you start getting what's called dirty data. So you get the same visitors that are visiting the page over and over again, and they might see different variations of the test, or maybe they're seeing the same variation, or you could be interested in whether or not it's actually working. So you just go in and refresh and refresh and refresh to see if different variations <laughs> pop up. And that kind of dirties the data. So once two weeks passes, you kind of just want to call it a day and at that point, you just go with your gut. You see what kind of feels best. You'll begin to know after you've done a few tests and you've seen a, a few results, what's actually gonna help to, to move the needle one way or the other. But hopefully this gives you a really good idea of how to start taking the guesswork out of your website and knowing exactly what's going to help you grow your business through sales, lead magnet signups, or whatever you're trying to do. If this video was helpful, make sure that you like and subscribe. And hey, we did a full series on conversion rate optimization down to how to design your website to the messaging that you put on it in order to increase sales and grow your business. So make sure that you go back and watch those. We'll see you in the next video.